is Siren Head. <gasps> Dude, what the fuck? Holy shit. Did I Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and today we're gonna be um looking into Siren Head. Now, um, you guys haven't seen all over YouTube. There's been this phenomena of a uh, Siren Head, and uh, I'm already putting my own two cents. So I love horror, right? And I found out about this actually right when it began, which was around like maybe June-ish, maybe July. And this other YouTuber did something on it. I'll talk about him later. But basically, this thing came from this guy named Trevor Henderson, okay? He has a whole Instagram. He has a whole Twitter just full of these creepy-ass monsters, okay? So I looked into that, and, like, there's some other ones I'd rather talk about than Siren Head. But Siren Head blew up because I think, in my opinion, um, of the cool nature of the character design. Um, and I already know a bit about it. I haven't played the game though, so I thought we'd start with that instead of me just ranting on about it so that there might be a little bit more interest, you could say, about it. So, um, this is a PS1 style game, and I think this is one of the things that actually started the, um, interest in Siren Head. So we're gonna jump right into this and, uh, I'll, you guys can see for yourself about this entity. Damn, I guess we're just getting right into it. Alright, hell yeah. Dude. Oh, snap! Look at this. I'm, okay, so if you haven't known, like, I love, love these pixelated horror-type games. Like, I have, like, such a love for it. Dude, we got our Yeehaw pickup truck. Pine Ridge hiking trail. No vehicles are al allowed. Oof. Okay, dog. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! Alright. this can I pick it up I don't think so dude that is whack as shit there's another bag over there oh hell no oh hell no dude oh shit oh shit man that ain't fucking good Oh man, dude, this is like atmospheric. Like, I know. Oh damn, I don't like this. I don't like this shit. I like how it starts getting darker and shit. The more closer you get. Oh man, that ain't, this ain't my. Mm mm. Oh damn, little claw marks and shit. I have a lot of questions about this. It's just it's so well. It's so atmospheric. What in the world? I mean, I guess we're just going for a hike. I mean, you know, fuck it, right? I mean, like, whatever. Dude, what the actual... <gasps> Is that blood? Is that a person? No, it's an animal. What the fuck do I do? Can I interact with it? I have to get back to the truck now. <gasps> Dude, what the fuck? What do we do? Can I go past it? <gasps> oh shit, it's moving. What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? Shit, move, move, move. Fuck, 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 fuck. Dude, holy shit. Dude, that is whack as fuck. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's that creepy ass noise. Dude, what the actual fuck? Oh no. I have to get. Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is worse than Slender! That's some creepy ass fucking shit! Alright, we're good. Fuck that shit. Alright, let's go. Holy shit! <laughs> That's fucking crazy! We out of there? We good? 
is like the only one to determine. Oh, cool. Yeah, that, that's an ending for you. You just you die anyway. All right, cool. I mean, it, it'd be like that, I guess. Is that it? Okay. I I knew that it was a short game. Um but I like that. Like that. Again, that that's just a perfect short game, you know what I mean? Um There's a lot I can say now. There's a lot I can get into. Um now where do I start? <laughs> Hell yeah. Ironhead is a hostile, cryptic, and urban legend created by the artist Trevor Henderson, like I said, who is a tall, mysterious, humanoid free, uh, figure known for his odd appearance and various sounds that echo out of his head. So, why is this cool? Um, basically, we look into it. Wait, what? Sirenhead is an SCP? SCP-90760, Sirenhead. Yeah. It's it's a, it's an SCP, I guess. Um, that's crazy. <clears throat> she was on a vacation with her husband, and they were scoping out graveyards on the way, as you do, when she saw it rising out of the old cemetery, big as an old macabre telephone pole. Was this some kind of bizarre art piece the authorities hadn't gotten wise to yet? Even as she stepped out of the car, the mega the megaphones on its head screeched to life. Nine, eight, one. Child, seven, remove, vile. A buzzing, doubled voice scream, random words at her. At this point, it jerked into motion, striding down the hill towards her. So that's the original caption on the uh, photo that um, what's his face did. I will try and find that. And I'll show you it. But um, basically, um, as you can tell, this thing has a tiny little bit of story behind it, and. It kind of just spiraled out of control. Everyone loved it. Everyone thought this thing was the scariest freaking thing ever. And honestly, it is, it is pretty whack. Honestly, it is pretty whack. Um, if we keep going, Siren Head is a hostile, cryptic, and urban legend created by the artist Trevor Henderson. He is a tall, mysterious, human-eyed creature known for his odd appearance and various sounds that echo out of his head. As his name suggests, his head is a pair of sirens with mouths that he uses to kill any victim that are unfortunate to come across him. Um, now, there's more of like a biography and sightings and yada yada yada. Basically, it just gets into it and it's kind of, frankly, annoying. But, I'll be honest, um, all you really need to know is that this is kind of like a modern day Slender Man, honestly. Because wh what do you get from him? He was already a creepypasta, more or less. He started out from an artist. Kind of like Cinder Man. And then all of a sudden, when a game comes out, BAM! You know what I mean? I'm just saying, man. So I think this, you know, it's very cool. I really much enjoy it. I mean, it's short. It's cool, though. And that's what it really needs to be. So what is this thing really? Now, I could just be like, oh, this is the monster description. But frankly, that's what you're already going to be looking into. So let's get more into this baby and find out what it's cool. Um, about as you can see here here's some of the pictures again it's just this creepy humanoid creature and like it's pretty cool um I feel like over time it's gonna get more popular because it definitely is original I mean you can you cannot tell me this thing is not original I, I would definitely be surprised if someone else came up with an idea of siren head before the artist uh, Trevor did so if we look here this is what I found um one of the first things I found before uh, I even thought of this video idea. Um, so if we get into it, Siren Head. Here we go. Around 40 feet tall, about the size of a telephone pole. All right, cool. Um, skin looks rusty. Skin looks like rusty metal, but is actually dried and mummified skin. That's that's pretty dope. Arms are as long as the length of the body. Big, big reach, like a gibbon. What? What's a gibbon? What is a Gibbon. Oh, it's a little ape. I didn't know what a gibbon was. Oh, it's a little ape man. Holy shit, they have long arms. Look at these little shits. Dude, he could fuck me up. Look at him. Look at that little guy. He's like, he's like, dude, he could just be like, <laughs> that's what he could do to me. That's, that's like, 
literally what he could do to me. I don't trust that dude. Has been seen with different head arrangements, though it is unclear whether those are subspecies or if it's able to change its head to better hide when hunting. Alright guys, here we go. This is my first version of a different version. This is Buckethead. Um, welcome. Buckethead uses its bucket to, uh, to, uh, collect water. Um, and it's, it's scary because it'll fight you with a bucket. Uh, hello guys, this is Obamahead. Obamahead likes, uh, politics. He will, uh, kill you with, uh, his, uh, left-winged, uh, presidency. And, uh, usually he will suck you for about four years. <laughs> Hello guys, um, this is Fleshlight Head. Um, Fleshlight Head is one of the scariest ones because uh, basically it lures in men and uh, very lonely men. <laughs> it is a highly skilled predator using deception and subterfuge to confuse and disorient prey. It is unclear if or how it gains nourishment from the things it kills. Hmm. Speakers constantly pump out strange music odd snippets of conversation and angrily shouted words and numbers when it's asleep it plays white noise so that's one thing i think i found um very interesting so if you look into that um there's a lot of different sounds in the game that it plays i'm not sure if you listen to it or heard it but like sometimes it'll just um it'll just play like random loud speaker noises and another thing i found was um it'll play the sounds of its victims and those are both really cool things because think about it one, it can lure, but it can also keep people away. And what does that tell you? Well, one is, that tells you it can bring you close, meaning it's like any other monster, but that's not what's cool. What's cool is the other part, where it'll keep things away. Usually you would never want to do that if you're a monster, that's just not cool, unless you're like some overpowered behemoth, you know what I mean? Um, that's, why, that's why like a roar from like a monster is scary sometimes, because it chases you down. But him, since he's so slow, the thing that's scary about it is, once he's within range of you, when he starts screaming like that, what's scary about it is the fact that, like, if anybody else wants to help, if they're nearby, and they don't know what it is, they'll just run away. And then you're alone. And I think that's one of the coolest things ever. And maybe you won't run away, sure, but, like, I know if I heard something like that, and a lot of people did, they wouldn't want to go buy it. I mean, that's what you do. You run away from those sirens. And that's what's really freaky about this. That's what makes this thing, I think, a better version of Slenderman. So moving on. Speakers are only actual metal on its body, fused with its dried skin. That's pretty interesting. Adamant and chest show wires pressed against the skin. The wreath, when it's agitated, will remain motionless un uh, while hunting, sometimes for days at a time. That's crazy. So just to just like wait there. Most frequently seen in the rural uh, rural town areas and in heavy wooded areas. Huh. Huh. Okay. So by me, thank you. <laughs> Head will rotate on its neck as it broadcasts, much like an owl looking for prey. I like that. Artist this um artist conception of feeding method. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I think that also helps my uh, flush out idea for for feeding as well. <laughs> and look, like there's, like I said, like they already said there's different like uh, versions of the Siren Head, and like people are like doing that. It's starting to make its way into Minecraft, which I hate. So there's Minecraft. There's like other things. I know. Um, the thing that was really cool was there's this Fallout 4 video that someone did that got a lot of traction for it, and I think that's how Markiplier found it. So let me go to that. Now that's cool. That is cool. Can we keep going? Oh, there's that noise. I want to find out the sound. Um, that's some crazy cool ass noise. We'll start attacking. I want to see it start attacking. Oh shit! What the fuck? Hey! Run, motherfucker! <laughs> How fast is it? Holy shit, that, that thing is fast. Holy fuck. That is crazy as shit! Hey! That is fucking scary. 
scary. I don't care what you say, that is like scary as fuck. Can you kill that? I feel like you can't kill it. That's just scary as shit. That's scary as fuck. So again, if we look back into this thing, um, you can see other people be like, Oh, here's the story of Siren Head. And, um... What I want to get into is that this thing is just amazing for a work of art. Um, I'm just, what I'm scared about is, I've seen this happen a lot of times where there's this cool creepypasta, right? Or there's this cool, cool whatever. And what happens is a community will grab it and they'll ruin it because they'll just make it all cutesy and just like over funified if that makes any sense. And that's one thing I really enjoyed about Lamando because that never happened. Um, and I really hope it doesn't happen. Um, but the bigger thing gets, there's always those outliers, and it starts becoming something that community, like, looks at, because it's like, ah. That's why FNAF isn't what it used to be. It's very cancerous now. That's why Doki Doki isn't what it used to be. It's just cancerous now. And, um, I feel like this has a lot of true potential if it doesn't go down that route. And that's why, for example, like, if you look at, like, Outlast, that game will just stay in, like, amazingness for the rest of its game history no matter what you do it do it probably you know what i mean and i feel like this game is right on the line right now because it's going towards amazingness but if people aren't careful with it it could become just another slender man and could just die off and we don't want that we don't want it to be almost like something we don't talk about billy styler is one of the first guys i found um shout out to billy by the way shout out to him um i know he doesn't know me but like you know he does some good ass videos um, so if we look here, um, what he got popular off of, and that's what, how I found him, was the Siren Head videos. And I saw the one is, um, who is Siren Head? That's the one I saw. And he just goes into depth with it, um, as much as he can, just as, like, a character sheet, um, in this short time period. And that's how his channel blew up, and that's how, um, you know, I found about Siren Head. I'm sure that's how a lot of other people found out about this crazy-ass beast. Um, so i found that was a very important key part in defining this like creature because um there's not many other like i guess you could say creepy pasta readers anymore and he doesn't do creepy pastas but he definitely does more like internet urban legends if that makes sense i know creepy pasta is kind of the same but i, I want to like almost like differentiate them you know uh maybe i'm fucking wrong i, I don't know but anyways, I, I think this guy is really good at that, and I think he really deserves a lot more than he has right now. Um, don't get me wrong, I think he should do a little bit more videos. Just saying, just saying, because look, he doesn't have that much. He doesn't have that much. But, but, for what he does have, they're pretty damn good quality. I enjoy his videos. I think they're good. Yeah. Yeah, so he's the one doing this creepy-ass shit. Um, he's a Canadian illustrator. I didn't know he's Canadian. I guess that's pretty dope. Um, he's released several books, and, oh my god, that's cool. That's cool. Um, he's done a lot of things, like Siren Head, Cartoon Cat, Long Horse. I've heard about Long Horse, I really want to get into that sometime, because that's my favorite one that he made. Um, I, I already know about that one, too, but let's, um, let's get into this a little bit deeper. Um, damn, he has a lot of cool shit here. Like I said, here's, um, Trevor's work. I don't want to go into his other, like, Twitter and shit, honestly, but I just want to look at his stuff. And, and as you can tell, like, this is, like what he started out with and they look not perfect but they look very well done and almost realistic into the environment that they're in especially for being illustrations you know what i mean um so for example i think this is a great one that looks really good you can tell it's not real when you're looking at it but from afar oh, you know this one's a really good one too again when you look at it you can tell it's illustrated but from afar it's like it's very very well done illustrations and i think looking at these it definitely is nightmare fuel and i love that i'm sure everyone else loves that too um literally just by looking at these you could get like a horror game from these images like i think that's dope as hell um i'm not sure where siren head is though i remember i think this is cartoon cat i think i, I know a little bit of this because like i said like I i've seen this around like july and all that i just want to talk about it because you know i don't want to be like oh i'm into siren head holy shit you know what i mean um but no, it's very interesting, very cool, and I'm glad that this has become a phenomenon. Um, if you guys want to see more, then um, please down down in the comments below. Um, this is what I want to go into next, if we could. If this doesn't blow up, then fuck it. Just fuck it. I just thought I would talk about it. Um, because I definitely want this to be a character that stays pure and horrifying. That's what I want to talk about this for. I don't want this to just be another, like, oop, cash grab. Because I feel like it's going to happen. 
And maybe I'm helping towards it, maybe I'm not. But I do want this estate as a horrifying beast. Because that's what Trevor wants, and I feel like that's what he needs to stay as. Um, but no, Longhorns is the next one I want to go into, if I could. Favorite one of all time. He's not that, that scary, but I think he's one of the most interesting beasts of all time. So all I can say, guys, is let's keep this going. Let's hunt down some more monsters. And all I want to say is smile, keep your head up, and let's fight for a future sub right. It's much for eyes. My name is Blue Digit, and I'm signing out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Whoop!